I don't know if you guys have seen this. Uh, I don't know if you would call it a scandal or, or calamity or, or whatever you want to say about OnlyFans accounts. Um, <laughs> I heard just a little bit about this through Anne, but uh, Juan, I wanted to get your, your take on this whole controversy that's going on with OnlyFans accounts. So I'm sure you all have seen in headlines, Bella Thorne. Okay. First of all, OnlyFans, like I, <sighs> I've, I've, I've heard a lot of feedback on this. There's some people that think that in the next five years, there's going to be so many of us that have OnlyFans accounts. <laughs> that so, it's going to so be such what, a normal thing. What exactly is an OnlyFans account? Like what, like what is that? So it's a, it's a platform where you can go on and post uh, pictures, videos, whatever you'd like, uh, mainly pictures and videos of yourself doing whatever. And ultimately it's just become an, an, an amateur porn site is basically what it's, what it's become. Um, so it's but, like a private channel and only people, the people have to pay to be able to view it. It's a subscription platform. Yes. Yes. It's okay. a, it's, it's a monthly, a monthly subscription platform. And I, I mean, I honestly, I, I personally have a, a couple friends uh, in the entertainment business that they, they have accounts and, you know, I kind of discreetly help them promote it a little bit because, you know, I mean, Hey, we're, we're all, we're all employed here <laughs> in entertainment. Right. Yeah. No, so, it's been, it's been blowing up over, you know, these past six or so months with everybody getting laid off. Blowing up side hustles. Yeah. Yeah, one of my friends, she makes uh, over seventeen hundred dollars a month through Dang. her OnlyFans account, and that has kept her alive. It's literally paid her bills, kept her alive. She cashes out once a week. Um, does she want to be doing it? She's not thrilled. <laughs> she's not. Thr- <laughs> she's not thrilled by any means, but you know, she's very attractive and she's doing it. And uh, you know, I've got another one. They kind of just do it for fun. And she's been in, in entertainment for a while as well. She's making like five to seven fifty a month. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So fast forward to current times, and in walks Bella Thorne. And there are a lot of celebrities that have joined the OnlyFans or hopped on the OnlyFans bandwagon. Even uh, Plaxico Burris, a former NFL superstar, he's what? got an Only he's got an OnlyFans account now. Yep, yep. So, I mean, it's not just the ladies; so the guys are coming in with OnlyFans accounts as well. Um, a, 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 a lot of, uh, of course, Instagram models. I mean, that's that's like gold for them. Any Instagram model, they're like, oh goodness. Now I'm really going to get paid? Oh, geez. Um, yeah, so anyway, in walks Pell of Thorn. And in my opinion, she, this is, she's a criminal. Like She's robbing people. So granted, whenever she comes out, she announces, hey, everyone, guess what? I'm creating an OnlyFans account. The internet goes nuts, okay? Right. She... I think a day or two later announces, I will not be going nude. Okay. So she did say that. However, this is what's crazy. So she gains all these followers, right? People who are purchasing the subscription, her monthly fee, whatever it was. I believe she started out like 1999. If I, if I read that correctly, she ends up making a million dollars a day. What? One, one million dollars in one day. So we're into day two, and she's got $2 million in her OnlyFans account. So on and so forth, right? She does look insane to have that much, okay? Insane. Just like that. 24 hours, million bucks. And now she obviously starts to receive a, a, a lot of criticism because even though she announced it on her Twitter, well, I don't know if you're a 45 year old man and you're here, Bell, and that's you're a fan of Bella Thorne. You're probably not on Twitter, and you just go to the account and you, and and you know the, not really the stigma, but the reputation of OnlyFans is more than likely you're going to see nudity on there. Okay, 
you arrive and there's none of that. <laughs> so she was starting to lose a lot of subscribers, but she's at least got their money for a month. And here's where she came in and just robbed people. And because of it, now OnlyFans, their payouts used to be weekly. Now, because of all of this, all, all, all of what she's caused, uh, the payouts are now 30 days, which maybe they'll get back to a week once everything gets corrected. So now people who were used to these cult was it what it is sex workers right and that that was her claim is she's trying to eliminate the stigma behind sex workers okay she was trying to approach it in 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 that way she actually has directed uh, a a couple of movies in the adult film industry so <laughs> yeah i didn't know that um so again she's just trying to eliminate that stigma about sex and sex workers, but she comes in and what's crazy is got all these subscribers already not going new. Then all of a sudden cause all these issues, people are be demanding refunds. Now I'm used to getting paid out by the week. Now I've got to wait 30 days. That's just, that's just automatically causing a disruption in people's lifestyle, people who are used to getting paid by the week. And this one single individual caused all of this. Then there's a direct message. Uh, you, can, you have the capability to, to direct message your, your fans or your followers, your, your people who have subscriptions, right? And you can offer them uh, to purchase an exclusive video that's just in their direct messages. So if you were to buy a subscription and you're on, you're scrolling through their profile page, you would not ever see these videos, right? And you have to pay X amount and they have the ability to set the amount and you have to pay it to unlock it. Well, she was sliding in everyone's DMs that had a subscription and offering a $200 fully nude video and or pictures. So people were paying it and they were unlocking it. And she was like in a bikini. <laughs> she was not nude. Damn, there was so no straight, new video. She straight just straight lied up, to people. She just straight up lied to people. Now only fans because they're receiving so much backlash because they have so many demands for refunds. I mean, think about how many people she had to have subscribing to continuously hit that million dollar mark each day for however many days she start, she had her account before it got frozen. I'm sure $200 a pop, all these people demanding refunds, sending in emails, calling in, you know, showing the proof. She said she was going nude in this. She blatantly lied. I want my money back and also canceled my subscription. It's completely messed up the entire game, the entire platform. On top of that now, if you have an account on your normal feed, it allows you to post a normal picture and you can like it, you can comment, or you can leave a tip. And you can set the tip limit. Now, you can only tip up to $100 for these girls in, in one one set or one, uh, you know, just at, at, at a time. Sorry, I almost spaced out there. Jeez, it's a groggy day. <laughs> um, it's, it's crazy. That's crazy. Like she lit, she is doing okay financially. <laughs> Let's just, okay. Right. <laughs> to, 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 to put it at, at, she comes in and just screws the whole game up, blatantly lies to people, takes their money, and is laughing all the way to the bank in her convertible Mercedes. Matter of fact, it's probably an Aston Martin convertible. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Like, Dang, so she ruined scum. the whole game for all these people that are out there trying to hustle that, you know, are, are really grinding. And she comes yeah. in and just messes it up for everybody, essentially. People like my friends who have accounts who, like I said, they're doing well. And, and one of them, she, that's how she pays her monthly bills. 
she literally pays her monthly bills. She has her car payment. She has her rent. She has all of her utility bills, groceries, whatever. That's how she's living. And now Bella Thorne comes in and just disrupts all of that. And she was financially stable to put it in the very lightest. She's rich. So ba- she's filthy rich. So, so now people, there's a limit on how much you can tip somebody, which I would and imagine is a big source of income for them. Huge, huge source of income. Yes. So, because they, so now there's a cap on that and they can only cash out once a month as opposed to weekly. Every week. And on top of that, I believe they're also setting the direct message videos. That limit is also at a hundred dollars now where she was asking for 200, getting it and lying. (laughs) So did she get to keep all the money? That's what OnlyFans is trying to figure out now. And she recently went through like a string of like four tweets trying to apologize and it was the most ridiculous apology I've ever seen in my life. She's not sorry at all. She, she only actually, if I remember correctly, she only said she was sorry twice in a string of four tweets. It's like, are you kidding me? She said she was sitting down with only fans this month to figure out how to get things back to normal and how to improve on things. <laughs> Who does she think she is to come in at a time like this? No one's out there thriving right now, unless you're a massive corporation or Jeff Bezos. He's doing great. Oh, he's doing come, great. He's doing phenomenal. It's like, come on. You're going to come in here and you're going to disrupt these people's lives. These sex workers that you say that you're trying to protect, that you are trying to, you're trying to erase the stigma behind sex and sex workers. And here you come in, as a, as a thief, as a thief, and you just rob these people, these people who are paying, you're supposed to, you're saying you're going to deliver a service to these people, asking them for $200, they're giving you the $200, and you're not providing the service. Simple as that. Ridiculous. Man. You know, I hate the cancel culture that we live in. I think it's so stupid. I think that people read a headline and they just react and everyone's so emotional and they don't, they don't research at all. They don't read, but this is the time where I'd love to see the cancel culture come in and just absolutely obliterate Bella Thorne and just get her out of the media, take her power away. Come on. Like th- that's ridiculous, man. That's re- And it does it's not, it's, it's not even attacking her. Anyone who would step in and take that role, any, any famous person, no matter A, A, B, C, D list, celebrity, whatever, if you're coming in and you're taking money out of people's pockets just because you're an arrogant asshole, come on. That's crazy. Thief. She's a thief. That's wild, Jeez. man. And I've seen a lot of – there's a big uptick in celebrities doing MLMs now. And I don't want to get into a whole diatribe about multi-level marketing being a scam, which it is for the most part, but like you've got a lot of people from movies and TV shows trying to act like, Oh, come in and and join my, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever I'm pushing right now. And of course a celebrity is going to be able to get a bunch of people on there. So then they say like, Oh, look, I'm a, I'm a platinum member and I'm in the top 1% and I'm making millions or hundreds of thousands doing this. And you can too. It's like, no, they can't dude. If you're not a, like, uh, if you don't have money to invest or you don't have a, a big following already, like you're not going to mm-hmm. be able to like that type of stuff has ruined people's lives. Like they gas them up and give them this false hope to where they invest in all these product and then they're sitting there with no money. Well, with negative money having wasted it on all this garbage. And then it's like, Oh, it's not the products that got you the following. You were already famous and had a following. And now you're leeching off of these poor people that look up to you. Mm-hmm. So you can turn another buck when you're already well off as it is. Right. 